Hello there and welcome to the Internal Explorer's Journey. My name is Steve and I will be your host for this podcast. Um, this is my first one, so uh, it's just amazing. I was just trying to figure out. I think this is probably take number 22. I'm not quite sure, but it's uh, I'm just going to be me. I'm just going to talk to the camera. I'm going to talk to you. Uh, you know, I, I tried to figure out, well, I've got to make it sound like it's really professional, but I'm just going to be me. I'm going to, there's a lot of things that are going on in this world right now <clears throat> that are driving people nuts, so to speak. Um, <clears throat> and yeah, questions that really have an impact on who you are and what you think and how you feel. Now, a little bit about myself and how I came up with the Internal Explorer is that <clears throat> I've always been an Internal Explorer. Normally, people would go out, they'd, you know, explore uh, mountains, forests, countries, so forth, underwater, things like that. But I internally explore. I like to look inside myself and ask myself, why do I do what I do? Why am I thinking what I'm thinking? Why am I feeling what I'm feeling? And I think too many people <clears throat> in this world just kind of go through life not taking the time to think about that. Um, some people have said, well, you just think too deeply. And I, I don't know. That's just who I am. I ask why. I, I try to understand this thing called <clears throat> life, this human condition. Um, that's why I became, you know, got into psychology and, and, and uh, my MSW and worked with kids who were abused and so forth. So, but also I ended up getting my PhD in uh, social work, but I've been teaching psychology for over 25 years and recently retired. And I still teach an online class. <clears throat> and one of the questions that I have them start taking a look at for themselves is, why are you here? What's your purpose in life? And these are the type of questions that I ask them, but I'm also asking myself. And I asked myself that years ago. So why am I here? What's my purpose in life? Excuse me. And what I found was that I am a student of life. I'm curious. I have a wonder <clears throat> on how things work, how the mind works, how the feelings, emotions work, how behavior, how, you know, a computer works. Anything, try to figure out how it works. But I also am a teacher of life, so I enjoy teaching. And, and I hopefully, my hope is really kind of to, to bring to this podcast my questions that I have going through my head, part of my journey, part of my process on uh, understanding what this human condition is all about. There's a lot of stuff going on out there in the world right now that is nuts. <clears throat> and it has an effect on you. It has an effect on me. Both mentally, emotionally, um, you know, physically too as well. And these are the type of things that I want to bring to the Internal Explorer podcast. Eventually, I'd like to try to figure out how to have people come on <clears throat> and have a discussion. Uh, <clears throat> I'd like to have a live feed too as well. We'll see how that works. Um, but those are the type of things that I'm, I'm, I'm just going to go with it. I have no idea. I'm, like I said, in the beginning, I was trying to figure out, well, I got to make sure that I'm really crisp and clear. You have to understand something about me, though. <clears throat> my students, uh, when I would do my, <clears throat> excuse me, I get a little frog in my throat. Let me get, take a drink here. Yep. Nothing in that one. <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> I would tell my students, so you have to understand, I love accents. I love how you know accents are I have an ear for them that pick up on things um, well definitely every once in a while there's something that would come out in front of my my voice definitely I don't understand why I just I love accents and I pick up on them <clears throat> fairly well so sometimes an accent will come out I would tell my my students when we're covering mental illnesses it's not another personality don't worry about it medication is working I'm fine it's all good I'm just gonna be me and I think too many people 
I think the majority of us don't know how to be just you. Because we try to put on this facade. We try to put on this, you know, I've got to look just like perfectly so I can be accepted. You know, especially now with cancel culture. So my hope is <clears throat> for this podcast is to have a place, one, where if there's stuff that's going through my head, I'm just going to put it out there. And we'll see what happens. If people respond to it, cool. If not, cool. I'm leaving it all up to God. And, um, you know, if you have any questions or any topics that you want me to talk about, one of them I'm going to talk about stress too as well. Uh, that's one of my areas, especially uh, my wife and I <clears throat> have done workshops in, in the, the uh, community that we have created. We want to have that there as a support for all of you too as well who are in the community. So um, I just wanted to do a little introduction. Uh, if you take a look at the little picture here, that's me on that shirt. That's a picture of me when I was in kindergarten. I was a Head Start student, you know, one of the first ones there, you know, Head Start with my little bitty me. And so really, <clears throat> again, my hope is that you'll come back, you'll subscribe, you take a look at and hopefully get something out of the questions that I have because they may be questions you have. You know, on how do you how do you get along with yourself? How do you become your own best friend? Uh, you know, there's a lot of different things that I teach, like I said, in my personal social adjustment class that I hope to bring here to really think about relationships. You know, how does that work? Because people tend to think, if the, you know, <clears throat> how do relationships work? Well, one of the key relationships has to be within you, your relationship with yourself. And that's a hard thing sometimes because there's a lot of things you have to take a look at. That's where the internal explorer comes in and really take, looking at yourself, good, bad, and ugly and accepting yourself as you are because God does that. He accepts you just exactly the way that you are. So anyway, I just wanted to get this out there, get it uploaded. Um, and if you have any questions, please let me know. Hopefully I'd like to do a couple once a week and we will see how that goes. Okay. So. Welcome to the Internal Explorer's Journey. This is my journey, and hopefully you will get something out of it with the podcast that I am now creating. All right. Take care. Ciao.